mammoth high hill. Tech China's here in Shenzhen at Weinstein Electronics to check out the Mini Toy 3D printer. It's a $300 Kickstarter program to see if it really is appropriate for your little girl or little boy. There's actually a lot of online resources where you can download your own blueprints and upload them to a printer. And some of them are for pretty simple stuff, like uh, this crown or this mask, uh, obviously children's size. Some more complex things, uh, such as this little ball maze, where you can uh, kind of watch the ball go somewhere, presumably. Up to more interactive things, such as a cutaway of this uh, jet turbine, which is pretty neat. But I mean, after the kids had it for about, what, three, four hours, what do you do with it? I'm not quite sure. Uh, to some more uh, mature themes, things such as this coin catapult. Uh, Mom and Dad might be able to use it for decor, different items here. We've got a pretty large vase. And my personal favorite, the uh, pie pot or pie jar. 3.1459265323, there's enough of that. And the piece de resistance, the uh, mammoth high heel. I don't know how you'd wear this or even if you should. Printing times vary depending on the size of the subject. Uh, with a little bit of patience, you could also print out segmental pieces for a larger set, such as this T-Rex. Or a football that's incredibly painful to take a header on. Nearly all 3D printers on the market use a plastic thread as the input, which will set you back about $10 per one kilogram spool. They have uh, ones with wood incorporated to give more of a wood-like finish. Some are more elastic for other applications, such as things that need to be worn. And of course, you have glow-in-the-dark plastic. A pair of shoulder pads and a segmented sword. So let's just see how well these things put up with a bit of punishment. Here we have Peter, armored. And first off, we're gonna see how well I can attack him with the 3D printed sword. The sword, being segmented, has a oh. little bit too much give. Oh, so it wasn't exactly very good to parry with. Oh. <laughs> now let's see a close-up of the shoulder armor against a kendo stick. At about four millimeters thick, 3D printed armor probably isn't the best thing. Uh, there's definitely some cracking. And as for segmented swords, well, you guessed it, it broke exactly where you thought it would. The fun thing in 3D printing for kids is that you may potentially save a ton of money printing your own toys or licensed works, which you can then decorate instead of buying the real deal. Tech China does not condone piracy or intellectual property theft. This is definitely a children's activity you want to supervise Lest your little engineers print out an arsenal, eat the finished products, or do what kids do.